Well, hello there folks and welcome back to the Whiskey Friend. Here we are, I'm Alan. Another brand new video. In today's video, this is a very, very generous sample that's been sent to me by Mr. Stephen Davidson. Stephen sent me these a few months back. He also sent me the Lefroy Glower, which I did review. So if you've not watched that, I'll pop a link above. Just any Lefroy Glower lovers, I've just checked today, Master of Malt, have it on offer at £61. Super deal guys, so if you want to go and check that out. Listen, this is no advert for Master of Malts, it's just purely to let you guys know that there's a bottle on offer. Okay, Bill Blair 21. As I see, I've had this for a few months now, and I've been sitting on it, waiting for the right time. I did have a little sip of it earlier on, and wow, this is going to be a blast guys. It's, it's bottled at 43%. As I say, it's part of the Gordon McPhail uh, collections and, and I'm sure you're all aware that Gordon McPhail are the proprietors at Ben Romack who are doing great things there. I have a few bottles of Ben Romack, I've got a couple of distillery bottles up here which I'm holding on to at the minute. So, wow, this is going to be a blast guys, so hang on, hang on to your skirt tails, hang on to whatever, tie yourself down, pour yourself a dram. Let's crack on with this. So, Bow Blair 21. Look at that colour. Absolutely fantastic. It's almost like a like a nice white wine that. But again, I poured this about half an hour ago and the whole studio is just a fruit basket. And so I'm really really looking forward to this. So I know I'm waffling on, so let's just crack on and do this. So on the nose. Wow, okay. So straight up front, it says it's very, very fruity. It's very sweet and fruity. It almost reminds me of a Glen Caddam kind of nose. They're very fruity, very sweet, very fresh. This is the same, but I'll say Bal it's Bal Bal Blair. It's not Glen Caddam, but it does resemble it. So straight up front, there's lots of fresh fruit. Picking up some, some grapes, maybe some grapefruit, some bananas, wow, some apples, some green apple, and all those fruits, they're all just, just ripe fruits, but I say this is, it's a super, super nose. Wow. Also in there it's a little bit grassy. Maybe some freshly cut grass. Some hay. And just just as you go through it and you dig deeper into it, it just takes a little turn, it just goes a little bit minty. Real, real nice. And it almost smells it almost smells creamy. But as I say, this has been sitting for a while, so I've had a few little... I've gone back to it a couple of times over the last half hour. And it's it's always changing. So, even on... This, this is probably the most complex nose that I've smelt for a long time. But it's really, really complex. It's always changing, so every time you go back... It's got lots of character. It's got that typical Bal Blair character. And then obviously now it's coming in, you've got those vanillas some sweet honeys it's just getting sweeter and sweeter maybe a touch of toffee and then right at, right at the very back right deep down in I'm picking up some soft spice just a little little hint of spice if you don't get in deep enough you could you could miss it and right at the very very back I'm picking up a little bit of Maybe a little bit of dried fruit, maybe some raisin, maybe some sultana. But wow, this is this is a beautiful nose. Just a reminder, guys, as well. I'm going to. I've started scoring these whiskies, so if you're lucky enough to hang on to the end, you'll see how I score this. But wow, it's one of those noses that you could nose it for a long, long time. 
it's complex, it's fruity, it's sweet, it's ever changing, it's got that Balblier character. But normally I'm a little bit conscious of how long the videos take. But with this one, I don't care how long this, this video could take an hour if it wants, or it can take two hours. That's how nice this nose is. But I'm going to crack on with the palette now, guys, so hang with me. Slanch. Okay, it's intense, it's a full fruit arrival, it's like as I say, it's like a fruit basket, it's lots of fresh fruits, definitely some lemon, some lime, there's that citrus notes there as well, the apples, bananas, grapefruits, grapes, they're all in there. Wow, and it's, it, even the arrival, it's a long arrival guys, it takes a long while for it to even get to your development, so as it's, it's just starting to develop now, see I'm getting those limes, lemons, wow, it's quite dry, it's a nice dry flavour, let me take another slip, sip. On that second sip guys, it's still intense, it's a little bitter, but it's a nice bitter. Now we're getting, and it's still, it's a, it's a real dry dram. Although it's fresh and it's sweet and it's fruity, it's still drying in the mouth. Still not picking up much spice yet, it's all, it's, it's all just fresh fruits, dried fruits. Now we're, as it's developing, we're getting some toffees, some vanillas. It's like a creamy vanilla. For 43% guys, this is a busy, busy dram. It's complex. It's challenging. So this is this is definitely one if you're a real established malt head, you'll love this. If if you're a beginner, this may be a bit daunting because there's just so much going on with it. Now it's gone all grassy. But mixing with the grass. I'm picking up lots again, fresh fruits again, I've got melon, peach, apricot, there's lots and lots and lots going on with this. Let me just have another sip guys, just to, just to try some more. This is all in research guys, so let me do some more research for you. Wow, always changing. It's gone a little bit salty now. It's almost mineral, just as it's heading towards the finish. Now we're picking up a little bit of spice, just a real, real soft bit of spice. Maybe a little bit of pepper. But it's real, real complex and it's, listen guys, this could be a challenger for, this, this is certainly gonna be in the the whiskey of the year rundown because this is this is just fantastic stuff. I'm very very thankful to Stephen for sending me this. Beautiful quality Stephen, beautiful whiskey. I'm just sorry I didn't do it sooner. <laughs> but it's wonderful wonderful stuff. See it's got a little bit mineral. There's lots in the right towards the heading to the finish as well as the apples are kicking back in. So these green apples are in there. Those ripe fruits, maybe ripe banana some pineapple, maybe some grapefruit, definitely some melon and peach. Wow, this is just just awesome, spectacular. You probably tell that I like this. 
and you've probably realised, as usual, the ones that I do like on review, I usually finish what's left in the glass, so there's every chance this is going to happen with this one. So, just making sure. Yeah, there's still more in this, guys, so I think if I had, if I did spend more time with it, I'm pretty sure I'd pick up some more, because it's the longer you tend to leave this in the glass, this does need time in the glass, guys, so I would certainly leave this. I'm scared to put water in it, because then if I do put water in it, then the, the video probably will last an hour. But I'm sure it will take water very well. Uh, I will try it with water myself, just to kind of, for my own personal tasting. But I think the video would just be far too long maybe if I put water in this. So let me just do a little bit on the finish, guys, and then we'll conclude. And I'll give it a score. Wow, it's just getting better and better and better. So, heading into the finish, guys. It's definitely just a dried ram, but it's beautiful. Mouth coating, it covers the whole, the whole mouth, the whole palate. It's dry, as I say, it's dry, but just through the finish, I'm getting a, there's a little bit of wood, a little bit of oak note. There's that saying again, oak oh, note. I always have issues with that. It's a little bit minty on the finish, guys, but it's 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 like a strong mint. Here in the UK, we have a set of mints called extra strong mints. It's like one of those, it's like an extra strong mint. So it's quite minty. It's a strong mint. I'm always confusing that with the spice because it's a bit. It's, there's a little bit of pepper on the finish, but the biggest contributor on the finish is those ripe green, crunchy apples. It's like a real, real ripe crunchy apple in there but it's beautiful beautiful dram so all in all i'm almost tempted to pour another one here and just continue with the video but as i say i'm always conscious that you, you might switch off if i tend to go on a bit but this for me guys is one of the best whiskies that i've tasted this year without a shadow of a doubt it's complex it's challenging it's from a great, it's a great distillery at Bal Blair. Gordon McPhail have looked after it and bottled it beautifully. But all in all, it's absolutely superb. So my score with this one, guys, you, you won't be surprised to know this is going to get a good score. So I'm looking to score this as a 92 out of 100. And I would recommend if anybody has, has a bottle of this, I'm very jealous. If anybody wants to send me another sample of it, I'm quite happy to take another sample of it. I will try and find a bottle of this, but I don't know I don't know how long Stephen's had it, I don't know how long it's been out. As you know, I don't tend to do a lot of research, I'm just more about the whiskey and what's in the glass and what's in the bottle. So, the 92 is a score, fantastic score. That's just about me. Again, remember if you've subscribed, fantastic if you haven't don't forget to hit that button down below as you know guys it doesn't cost you anything and you're just you're just helping the channel massively on its way to the one key as i say again i'm alan pleasure is in the sharing this is just a perfect example of the pleasure is in the sharing once again stephen thanks very much for this uh super super dram buddy and i'll catch up with you guys look forward to seeing you all in the next one thanks very much Cheers guys, just gonna have another little sip of this, bye bye now.